Alright guys, I just got a quick review on the Spalding NBA Street Basketball. And um, this is a 29.5. Um, inflates up to 7 to 9 LBs. And costed me around $15 at my local Target. Um, some quick things about this ball is it's very texturized. Obviously because it's for a street game. This ball is very texturized. I can grip it inside the rain. So that's a pretty good feature considering that if it's outside and there is natural weather. Another thing about this ball is that it feels more lightweight than a normal ball because it's easier to grip. As you can see, I can grip it with two hands very easily. And pretty much the story on this ball is that it's very cheap. It's for people that just want to get better. I'm not, I'm not good myself. I just want to try to get better and practice and just have a good time outside at my local park. And this is the great ball for you. Um, comparing it to other $30, $60, and even up to $100 balls, this one is a very nice pick, according to Wilson. And I know that Spalding is a very good brand. They are sponsored by the NBA, and I have played with their balls before. And it's just a nice basketball company in general. In other words, this ball is very good. There is a couple things about it, though. As you can see, there's a little white stain right here and that's if you hit it up against something it will leave a stain but I'm pretty sure that you can just rub it off with a cloth and considering that I've had this ball for around two weeks and there's still minimal damage and I've yet to have to inflate it since I got it from the store it comes great and ready and it's a nice ball will last you a long time and doesn't break the buck thanks for watching this is a review from the David Pool channel have a nice day. Alright guys, I just got a quick review on the Spalding NBA Street Basketball. And um, this is a 29.5. Um, inflates up to 7 to 9 LBs. And cost